I'm Kevin Buxton from ICX Radiation and I'm here just to briefly review some of the products that we have for the detection and identification of radiation isotopes. This is the uh, ubiquitous identifinder. This instrument has been around now for uh, quite some years, five years. We have over 8,000 of these instruments deployed in many areas of uh, both military and civil defense. Uh, I think it's important to realize, unlike many other elements of CBRNE, radiation offers a slightly different challenge. Traditionally, we think of looking for a very low level of a particular material or agent in a background essentially of zero. And radiation is very different to that in the sense that we have a natural background. It could come from the surroundings, from the rocks around us, or it could also come from a man-made entity such as a medical nuclide, which is one of many positive uses of radiation. So the key element is not just to be able to detect radiation, but also to identify the type of radiation that you have uh, and then determine whether or not that is benign or a threat. And hence the identifinder is, uh, is used for that purpose. Handheld, uh, designed to be used out in the field, in simple operation, once turned on, it measures the level of activity, the dose rate that you have of radiation in the area. If you get an elevated dose rate, and I have a very, very small source here that I can put on here, we can see there that the numbers, in fact, go up and we can set an alarm level there to notify us that we've got something in the vicinity. Now, as a first responder, or out in the field, simplicity is a key element. So the key thing is one button push puts us into a finder mode. And in this mode, we can actually use the instrument to determine the location of the source. So after a short while, it's just determining what is the general background level. Remember, we always need to take that into consideration. So now I'm going to simulate uh, locating a source by moving the instrument around. And as we can see, the closer I get to the source, I get a visual indication here. I get a tactile indication in the sense that the unit is vibrating. And I get an audible indication too. So with one button press now, we've determined the location of a potential source. With a second button press, we can go into identification mode. And here the unit asks us to point it to the source that it has already located and lo and behold it makes a measurement and determines the source itself. It's cesium-137, it says this is an industrial source, we are 10 on the scale which means we are absolutely sure that this is just cesium-137 and we can make a determination on this, it's an industrial nuclide that we don't actually potentially have a threat situation.